breakthrough in the fight against cancer from the University of Alberta tonight. Researchers there have found a certain compound can shrink cancer tumors in the lung, breast and brain. And best of all, it's non-toxic. As Sue Lingo reports, it could be a more compassionate form of chemotherapy. Sandy McDougall has been through chemotherapy three times. Each time she was nauseated for months and lost all of her hair. When you lose your hair, you first lose the hair on the top of your head, but then you lose your eyebrows and the last to go are your eyelashes. And that's like the final injustice. Rather than be bald in public, this breast, liver and brain cancer survivor wore wigs. She believes chemotherapy is especially hard on women. We put so much credence in, in our hair and the way we look and, and to not have it. Um, or to have it look unnatural was the hardest part for me. But U of A researchers may have found a kinder, gentler cancer treatment. Unlike traditional chemotherapy drugs, dichloroacetate or DCA kills cancer cells only and doesn't affect healthy cells. When you take chemotherapy, you get nauseated because the, 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 the drug kills the stomach cells or, or your heart dysfunctions because you kill the heart cells or your skin or you lose your hair. None of these things appear to be affected by the DCA. The team implanted human lung tumors in live rats, taking photos inside this special scanner. Then the rats drank a DCA solution. Just three weeks later, the tumor, this purple blob, had shrunk from this to this. The tumor is significantly decreased. Decreased by up to 70 percent, with no negative side effects for the rat. Dr. Evangelos Michalakis explains cancer changes a cell's metabolism, making it resistant to death. By restoring normal energy production with DCA, the cancer cell can be killed and healthy cells untouched. It appears to have to hit a sensitive nerve in cancer, a fundamental uh, uh, trick that cancer does to stay alive. Sandy says chemotherapy without nausea and hair loss sounds almost too good to be true. Something like this would be the most fantastic thing ever. And if she ever does have to go through cancer treatment again, she'd be thrilled to keep her wigs in the closet. It would just be such a joyous thing for an oncologist to tell a woman that you're not going to lose your hair. For Global News, this is Sue Lingo reporting. The drug has passed stage one trials, but researchers have yet to try it on cancer patients. They are now in the process of securing public funding, none from drug companies, so the drug can be available inexpensively, and they hope to start mass clinical trials within the next year.